fourth and chips coming into this one. Small blind. 275. 275. <clears throat> Understandable three bet out of Saliba. Sizable as well. Petrangelo as the chip leader. Going to be opening quite wide. Yeah, you expect some friskiness out of that seat. And he did see nice. Rast four bet and get it into the bin earlier, right. so he might be thinking there's some raised folds in there. And now just consider two little words would pile oh so much pressure onto the back of Saliba, who's got two shorter stacks than his out there. Granted, Shulman's neck and neck with him coming into this pot, but is that 650 or 6, 620? 620. Really? Could even just consider calling here. Keep those worse aces in play. He does just come with the call, Ali. Bit surprising. That's kind of cool. Of course, never one to question the greatness that is Nick Petrangelo. And on the topic of great, feast your eyes. Ace, queen, deuce, rainbow, and boy, I don't know whether or not there's an escape hatch. Certainly not for the time being for Saliba, who's just 2% running king 10 or running jacks. Just dire straits for Saliba. So unfortunate to have flopped top pair after three betting. You would imagine he's concerned with Petrangelo to some extent. Well, nevertheless, he will ask a question as he follows through for 170 of his 620 back. Cool. And now once Petrangelo sticks around, Brent, you're starting to get a little uneasy, are you not? You have to be. Check. And really kind of holds the deck, Brent. Ooh, this check back by Petrangelo here, Ali, was so slippery. We block the aces if we're Saliba. Check. Cold decks happen. Of course, Saliba understands that. He could be up against top set. It could be top two, exactly the case. Uh, he might get sick on the table when Petrangelo rips it. 410,000. 410. Note what Petrangelo's doing here. He doesn't doubt that he has the best hand. And obviously, a bet of 450 would mean curtains for Saliba. But he's bet 410, Brent, and walk us through exactly why that is. Well, he's going to allow him to remain in the game. If he were to call right now, he's not eliminated. Remarkable awareness cool. by Petrangelo. Oh, listen, this is the ace set. Wow. He said it. Ace, queen, off. Zeroes in exactly right. Yeah. And ace, queen. Huh. Rest. Limping in, obviously, the inconvenience of being to Petrangelo's direct right, not lost on. Czar. And it looks like Saliba wakes up with pocket hey, threes in the big blind. Yeah, yeah. And the wheel will be spun. And this 85K is going to mean a whole heck of a lot more to Justin Saliba as it represents his tournament life. moments here at the final table of event number seven of the Poker Masters. King 10-9, the threes. Shriveling. Spades not an option. And it yeah. is two outs twice to a W. Close. And now just one pull. Let's bring a no spot for a sweat. <laughs> Not it. Like a, yeah. Seven of spades will seal Justin Saliba's fate, which was 
given a bit of extension, courtesy of Petrangelo, who didn't try to bust him earlier, very well could have. This is what gives you that impression, Brent? Of course, it's a private school. Does that man look yeah, like public school side, material? Yeah, here I am. I mean, look at this place. Get, this is for very... You talk about straight-A students, Ali. This might be the Harvard of New York. Uh, unclear. But now that you visited the website, I'm sure that those cookies are going to serve you all sorts of college applications. In the meantime, Victoria Livshitz being served a... Spin of the roulette wheel here by Shulman's pocket nines, which wake up in the big blind and are holding on a 10-7 deuce board. 515k pot needs to go her way if she's going to stay alive, and the eight of hearts does not help. Three outs one time, the early rise. But unfortunately, yeah, none of that juju. <clears throat> Brings an ace on the river as the board pairs. And in very short order, we lose yet another combatant here at this final table as Livshitz adds $88,000 to her career tournament total of 986000 coming in. So up and over the seven-figure mark for Victoria. Brought together courtesy of 44 entries, only seven payouts. And this little suited connector is going to jam for Shulman, and this is kind of that stuff that I was talking about, Brent, that lack of fear. As ripping the small blind with the 8-9, Brewer waking up with the ace-queen, short stack does dig in. Of course, Shulman's got him handsomely covered, but he would certainly prefer to be hauling in this 8-90 than watching it slip away from him, and the flop on standby. As is Chris Brewer's fate. 5-5 five, five is tidy. One spade working. Oh. A filthy eight of diamonds rolling off on the turn. You see Brewer disgusted, putting his chips forward. Recognizing he's the man now with the six outs. Can he hit? GG. Now, GG, Chris. showers <clears throat> for Brewer. Certainly on the more emotional side of the spectrum in terms of top tier pros, Brent. And it's a spot we've seen him deal with on so many occasions. At least on this one, it's deep into the money. For no, no. I had uh, like 140. It was like above average for most of like day three and four and whatever, but not, I wasn't the chip leader. Safe to say the bet was not between Opie and Shulman. Shulman was made okay. aware of the bet from Opie. I don't know who the bet was against. I don't know the amount, but I'm guessing if Opie was involved, it was quite meaty. Yeah. Yeah. But I wonder, Shulman just... Uh, a distaste for Oppenheim revelry, I would imagine. Yeah, well, he's got a taste for this flop. Look at this continuing to sizzle. Top pair there. with the flush draw. Flush draw indeed. Yeah. As this 140 from A6 followed up upon with a check. And this board texture is so bad for an A6 that I think Shulman could have sneezed oh, and. Wow gotten Petrangelo off his hand. Instead, he checks back, and we can understand with just so much equity, his choice to do so. And then that one card that you don't want to see, the ace of clubs. And Petrangelo with another check, Brent. Yeah, I, understandable, of course. Out of position against the great Nick Shulman. Control the pot. Shulman now, he realizes that's a terrible card. I better check back so I can make three kings on the river. Well, Maybe quite difficult for Petrangelo 320. to get off of this. Does bet hot with aces up. I mean, he's obviously doing so, removing King X from the bulk of Shulman's kit as played. Yeah, and I think that's what Shulman is pondering right now. A, a knuckle flop, a knuckle turn. He doesn't give me any kings unless it's exactly King X of spades that would have taken this line. So maybe we can eke out some value and target all of the aces. Ace. 
game. Yeah, content to just flat at that sizing, understandably. Sure. Maybe a qualifier here for Rast. Facing the button open from the chip leader. Short stack of Rast decides now's the time, and the two sixes will give Brian Rast a spin. 1.17. Quickly and easily finding its way into the middle. And a 7-3 dog is Rast heading into this one. A wheel draw added to the three aces that Rast is on the hunt for. As Petrangelo looks quite comfortable. And now a set of sixes taking the aces off the board and leaving Rast with just a pull at a four to keep his hopes alive here at this final table. The King of Hearts yeah. makes it official. Sporting handshake there. A second one. And Brian Rast All right, buddy. will part ways nice with this all FT. Day. All in. All in. Cool. Seems well, like a crazy game to play for a lot of money, doesn't it? Yeah. Heads uh, up. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Ace on ace violence here Whatever, at Petrangelo. Like we, we got it at the end of Poker Masters, whatever the 100K was. And I was like, we were like 30 deep or something. Like and chop. No, and no, he's right. just like, nah. <laughs> and the first hand, he defends like four pips, two loose. <laughs> he's just the best. I mean, is he coming? Do you know? Is he coming for Super High Roll? He took a huge break. Now he's not coming. He, he maybe, I don't think he's coming to North America anytime soon, dog. Yeah. He's, I think he, He's enjoying, he got a sweet house in Australia and he's just doing it. Good for him. Mm -hmm. Not doing it, of course, is this ace four off suited. Was going to say Petrangelo smothered pre flop here. And now draws to just a chop. GG, bro. You too, dude.